Okay guys, so I just um, did a Olaplex treatment to my hair. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but it's like, um, it's almost like a conditioning treatment except it like rebuilds your hair from the inside out and it rebuilds the proteins inside your hair. It makes your hair stronger and it's usually for like when you're bleaching your hair and stuff, but I like to use it because I use a lot of heat in my hair. So as you can see, my hair is like super wet. And I'm going to do a Brazilian blow blowout in it. I didn't do it before we went to the Philippines and I totally regretted it because my hair has been like terrible in the Philippines. It's not so bad here now that we're back. But I feel like I'm just going to do one because I miss doing my hair really easily. So I'm going to do a Brazilian blowout in my hair. Then um, we're going to go pick up Cade from school. Maybe get haircuts and then we're going to go to lunch. Because Cade has a half day today so... We'll see you guys there. Alright, so I just kind of showed you guys like the state of my hair. My hair is like really wavy slash curly. And then I'll show you guys how it looks after I do my Brazilian. But look at my roots. Like these roots are like heinous right now. Alright guys, all done. Oh, I think it looks amazing. It's so soft and shiny and manageable now. So I am beyond happy. Look at that. Oh beautiful if you guys want to see how I did this I have a video up already so I'll have a link right up there for you guys to check out if you guys want to see and now I'm um, good to go all right we are ready to go okay put your shoes on BB put your shoes on put your shoes on yeah <laughs> they're on okay okay I'm not gonna do like this all right, guys, we are here at the Goodwill. A little change of plan because we didn't bring the kids with us. It's just my mother, my brother, and I. And we're going to go inside. Oh, they're doing construction. But I didn't get a haircut either. We don't have time because my brother has to go back to school. But we're going to hit up the Goodwill really quick and see what we can find. And we're going to go have lunch. So let's go in and see. It's over here. So Still here, and it's still seventy bucks. Okay, mom, and your expert liquor say opinion. How do you think it is? See, it's not that bad, it's right? I just don't know how to clean it. I know you know how to clean it. Help mom, John. I looked it up though, it's like if you buy a new one, it's like 500 something. 500 Yeah. Oh, look at this box. It's like a vintage hat box. Buy that for. You know how to play that. Oh, yeah. But look at they start. They have like some Halloween stuff already. So do you want that thing, Mom? Oh, that's a candle. Huh? Oh, I know. I saw this yesterday. It's Wedgwood. It's $50 though. Let me look it up and see how much these things cost. It's like Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Biltmore Estate Collection. These are so cute. Oh, 
Okay, that looks like a fake Louis Vuitton wallet. That Chanel is still there. Those Louis Vuittons are still there. $14.99 Nothing too exciting There's a fake Birkin. It's made of plastic though. It's $19.99 but it's 50% off. So this is only 10 bucks. It's actually not in horrible condition, but everything's starting to peel a little bit. Hi, I'm looking for you, Tom. these Uggs? No. London Fog. Doc Martens. Thirty-five. They're actually not in bad condition. Yeah. I think they're my size. All right, we're gonna take these boots. Look at this little dooney. Originally 148. Oh, X. That's our mark. 45. Hermes. No, it just looks like an Hermes wallet. We're getting it after all. Super pink. Oh, they're the free runners. Twenty-five. They're not bad. Oh, they had, um, yeah, they're fit flops. They're $10. I think they're your size, so the same size as your. 
No. They're a little big. Too big. Tongs. Twelve ninety nine size eight. They're pretty cute. These tongs too. Yeah, fourteen ninety nine. I saw these same ones at the other one by my house. They were only nine ninety nine. Oh, this is cute. Jesus. Mom, how many Lakers days do you have now? Are you excited to eat, John? my favorite yeah. color, food. It is your favorite color. I haven't color. eaten all day. John, you're wasting away. I know. I'm so skinny. <laughs> All right, we are at the packing house. Hi, mom. Are you hungry? Very hungry. John's super Star hungry back there. He's starving. Starving. If you guys haven't been to the packing house, you guys have to go because it's super fun and the food is really, really good. And it's really close to Disneyland. I think it's downstairs, right? Today we're going to have what are we having on? I think we're gonna have pho. Pho. Soy garlic tofu pho. These are tiny little menus. Sitting on this swing while well, we're deciding on what to eat. We don't know what we're going to get. But I really like this one. Yum. This is called Sali Vietnamese Cafe. I hope it's delicious. I cannot wait to try it. Is that where you want to sit? Alright, check out, this is the pho. These are chicken egg rolls. And these are shrimp and uh, sweet potato fries. Yeah. Alright, these sweet potato fries are so, so good. Mm. You guys have to try this place. It's safe to say that we annihilated all our food. John, what are your thoughts? What? No, It is yummier. John has weak taste buds. We just finished eating there, and now we're gonna get crepes. Are they open? I think they're open. It doesn't say they're closed. They have a new caramel apple. Yeah, that's the one we got last time. But this caramel apple one or the strawberry short grape is new. We got Starry Night. Should be exciting. Oh my 
god, this looks so good. <laughs> All right, we are leaving the packing house now. It was so delicious. And now we're heading back home to John has to go back to school. All right, guys, so we are at the house. And mom already actually started trying to clean the interior of our new Le Creuset that we purchased. The sticker is still on here, $69.99. And what, what kind of mixture did you put in here? Peroxide and... Uh, Peroxide and... Baking soda. Baking soda and water. And no, you just, no water. Peroxide and baking soda and you just, and you just heat it up. And look, at it's already like almost super clean on the bottom before it was like really dark. I'll, I'll insert um, before and after photos or before photos so you guys can see what it looked like before. But it already looks super clean. Because you can see right through that liquid and it's not even that dark anymore at the bottom. And a little scrubbing is going to get that right out. Okay, no, thank you. Mm. Alright, so I just rinsed it out. It's still a little dark so I'm going to put a little bit of a barkeeper's friend in there and we're gonna see if we can get the rest of the black out okay it's still a tiny bit dark at the bottom so we're going to clean it one more time using the hydrogen peroxide and the baking soda so we're putting mom's putting some hydrate or hydrogen peroxide in there just enough to cover the bottom. Like that. And then sprinkle the big soda. sprinkle some baking soda in there. There's no like I don't measure. measurements or anything. And then you make it she boil heat it up. And just let it boil in there for 15 minutes with a cover on. And then just let it sit for a little bit and then you can just rinse it out once it's cool. She also said you can scrape the bottom with a wooden spoon once it's like boiling and all good to go. So there's the wooden spoon. And that's what you use to scrape the bottom of the bowl or the bowl of the pot. It's starting to get... Oh uh, yeah, it's nice. starting to come off a little bit. Yeah. Mom's gonna make tacos. But we're gonna cover it up and we're just gonna let it boil and see how clean we can get it. And they left the sticker on there, which is really weird. Been trying to get it off, but it's a little hard. But it's mostly coming off. Yes. Yeah, we got it all off. And just a little tip, don't store these with the lids upside down because then this is gonna happen. It starts scratching the lid. But I mean, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't affect the cooking, but it makes it. Ooh, it's boiling. Wooden spoon time. Is it gone? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't really see it anymore. But who knows, it might be hiding underneath the bubble. No. We'll see how it looks once we wipe it. We'll rinse it out. Mom, did you notice that your pot is also matching your towels oh. and your outfit? Look at you guys are like... <laughs> really matching. Really matching. This is the other pot that we got. This red one. We use it so much. We use it so much already that it's already gotten a little dark on the bottom again. It's almost time to clean it. And then we also got like a little mini one that matched this that was also red. So that was a good find as well. Mom's making some taco shells. Okay, guys, we just turned it off and look at it. It's super clean. It's all gone. Oh. It's brand new again. Gorgeous. It looks like it's the matte finish, too. It's not super shiny. Or is it yeah. just old? No. No, it's matte, right? It's matte. Because your other ones are old and they're still shiny. Whoa. Okay guys, check out how clean it is now. It is like super clean. There's not a mark on there anymore, which is amazing. So this totally works. Thumbs up. Um, 
<laughs> Let's take a group photo. <laughs> oh, it even has a little sticker. That's funny. How much is this? Uh, it's 